Assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will learn about fetching results in pdo with fetch column after executing a statement that returns one or more result sets use one of the methods available in the pdo api to iterate through the return rows the pdo api also provides methods to fetch a single column from one or more rows in the result set this is the file that we created so far and here after this rows line we will define a variable count rows and then row count copy this and paste it here and here we can show the total records like this so the total records are 2 Let's start a while loop while call is equals to rows fetch column 1. Our zero column is ID and 1 is first name. So here you can see that we have first name of two records. And if we change this fetch column to two, then we have last name. And three is for email. Let's check this in PHP my admin. And here you can see that we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this, then please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And if you have any question, then leave it in comment section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye-bye.